We don't have a special recognition award. We've known, I've known this guy since the late 80s. The rest of the fellas known him since the 90s. We're putting him in the shifters right here and now, man. Right here and now. Yes, he deserves it. with us for thick and thin, 30 years, man, around the club. Yeah. He owns that black Malé right there. How about it for Woo! Rob, guys? Come on, show some love. And, and, don't get too emotional, brother. Love you, Rob. This deserves a speech, right, guys? Let's go, Brandon. Before shifters, even, I mean. Rockabilly days in the 80s. To... I mean, helping you with your car, with chopping your sedan. Really show me how to drive fast. <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell them about that, by the way. Coming home from State Light, quick little story. Yeah. Um, 29 degrees. Yeah, freezing to death. I mean, Billy couldn't even put the gas car in the gas machine, trying to figure out how to get gas to get home. And, and we had to stop at the Barstow Del Taco because that's very important to me. And he sat there and watched and eat because he goes, I don't fit the car if I eat. Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, Marky, before he even had a driver's license. So he's a very humble guy. He doesn't brag, but I'd like to brag for him. He's the real deal. He's gone 300 miles an hour at Bonneville in a Lakester. He's got an NHRA certified license to drive a top fuel nitro burning funny car, and he's gone 250 miles so far in the quarter mile run. In the War Horse, right? Yeah. Real deal. It's going to be an honor to have him in the club. Love him so much. Yes, come on. Oh man, I thought I was going to cry just now. Okay, another car club 